you know, I know you knew Frankie. What a legacy, a music legacy he left. I mean, tell us about some of your fondest memories. I don't even know the words. Yeah. Um, yeah. About what Frankie Beverly was to us mm -hmm. culturally. Yes. If you are 40 years old, Mm -hmm. you understand. I don't, I don't even have to explain this. <laughs> right. If you are 40 years old, I don't even have to explain this to you. But if you are not 40 years old and you don't know, mm -hmm. then you should know. What you should do, what you should do is go on Apple Music and download everything you can from Frankie Beverly. Mm -hmm. And I want you to listen to it. And I want you to understand why this man could sell out arenas having not put out an album in 20 years. Mm -hmm. I want you to go see why. I want you to see why for years he closed out the biggest musical festival in America for us, the mm -hmm. Essence Musical Festival. I want you to understand why he closed. I didn't care who was on the show. I don't care who you bought down there. Mm -hmm. Frankie Beverly and Mays was the show closer. Right. Period. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. I don't know if you even understand what, how entrenched in the souls of soul music lovers that Frankie Beverly and Mays was. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't know, but you have to hear the songs. Now, listen, I know if you're young, y'all have a propensity sometimes to overlook old school and think it's old. If it wasn't for that, you don't exist today. Mm. If you don't think Frankie Beverly bad, ask Beyonce. Mm. Uh, right. that's she all. remade his song. Right. That's she all. remade his yeah. song. Remade yes. Mm. Ask the Queen right. Bee. Yeah. I am telling you, you cannot call yourself a music connoisseur and not know what this man did. That's mm. right. Frankie mm. Beverly. And then on top of that was just a beautiful soul. He was a yeah. cool ass dude. Yes. I'm talking about, man, Bless when you talk about now. cool, he wasn't hard. He wasn't no gangster. He wasn't no thug. When I'm spirit. telling you, epitome of cool. Yeah. Cool with a capital O, capital C, O O L, all caps, Frankie Beverly. All caps, all white. Yes. Yes. With the cap. Yes. With the with cap the on. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. That's how deep he was. No introduction necessary. The only person, and excuse me for I take this flex moment, only person ever introduced Frankie Beverly at Essence was Steve Harvey. Only one. Come on now. Nobody yeah. else. You just you just walked off the stage. He left it black. Nobody. Frankie. Frankie walked out there. Well, I'm just saying me though. <laughs> you, you, because Frankie had a Frankie had a set thing. I'm just telling you. Frankie had at essence. I said at essence. Frankie had a set thing. Everybody leave the stage. Stage go black. The band walk out. Yes, they do. The band don't say nothing. One, two, one, two, three, don't. And then they start. Yes. After that, Frankie Beverly walked out. There was no introduction. Yeah. Just one time I asked him, could I do it? <laughs> he said, Steve, I'm going to let you do it. I just wanted to. What did you I say? just wanted that that honor. Now, but this dude right here, it he it was no introduction necessary. Mm. He was Frankie to yeah. us. Yeah. He was Frankie. The, our soundtrack. As our his lives. voice changed as Culture. he got older, for us, he was Frankie Beverly. Yes. For us, man. And what yeah. he meant to us, immeasurable. Immeasurable. Yes. Un unbelievable to the culture.